Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I'm a terrible person because I haven't uploaded a video in almost two months. I am sorry about that. My summer has been somewhat busy. I was in Rocky Horror, I did some traveling, I've been doing a little bit of writing for these visual novel projects I got recruited for from the Lemasoft forums. If you want to know more about that, comment below and I'll talk more about it. Um, and yeah, none of that's really an excuse, but I, was, I just haven't done much reading or really felt like it, so I haven't had anything to make videos on, and yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 this is not... I'm not trying to make an excuse for myself. I, I should have been uploading more videos. Summer's almost over, so I'll be going back to school and having even less time to make videos because I'll be doing more theater stuff there and, of, of course, like schoolwork and um, other stuff. That stuff might get documented on my main channel. There's a link to that there. And I want, me and one of my roommates were even talking about making a gaming channel together. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but if it does, I'll let you guys know if you're interested. But anyway, here's my first video in almost two months. It's a tag, as you probably can tell from the title. This is the Summer Lovin' Book Tag, created by Richard Denny. I was tagged by Chris from Chris Vigilante Reads. Sorry, Chris, for taking so long to actually do this. I wish I had my script from when I was in Greece to hold up because I was in Greece and the title of this tag comes from the song from Greece. Anyway, I realized that I don't actually own physical copies of any of the books I chose for this. Either I have them on Kindle or I used to have a physical copy and sold it or something. I'm just gonna instead have a picture of the cover after I say it. Here we go. Number one, start of summer. Pick a book with an attention-grabbing first sentence. I'm going to go with After the Fall, Before the Fall, During the Fall by Nancy Cress. I haven't actually read this book yet, but just listen to this first sentence. It wasn't dark, and it wasn't light. It, was ev it wasn't anything except cold. That's a cool... That I'm interested in reading this. I probably... I will eventually. I own it. I got it in the Humble Bundle. It's, I guess it's a post-apocalyptic thing, but that's a cool first sentence. Number two, too hot to go out. Pick a book for a day in. I chose Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. I read this book in like middle school and I don't remember much from it. I just remember that I really liked it. And I don't, when I picked this, I was looking through my Goodreads at books I've read and trying to find something for this category, because, like, what makes a book better for being inside than outside? I don't know. But when I saw Stargirl, I was just, like, hit with the memory of me reading this at my home in middle school and really liking it. And it's pretty short and, and lighthearted and good and it's good messages and stuff, if I remember correctly. So I think it fits this question. Number three, summer road trip. Pick a book you take with you on the road. I'm going with Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. I'm only picking this because I actually did take it with me on the road, at least the Kindle edition of it, when I was traveling this summer. I didn't actually end up reading that much of it because I was sleeping in the car, as I tend to do. But <laughs> it, it, I brought it with me, I read some of it, it worked for being on the road. So yeah, Throne of Glass. <laughs> I'm liking it so far. Number four, Iced Tea Goodness. Pick a book with a cold setting. I'm going with The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I actually did not like this book very much at all. Uh, I know a lot of people who have read it did like it a lot, but I found it just, like, painful to get through. I could make a video on why I don't like it, but there's already a review someone wrote on Goodreads that perfectly puts into words why I don't like it. So I'm just going to put that review in the description, or a link to that review in the description. Anyway, the reason I chose this book for this category is that it takes place at a college in Vermont. And being from Vermont myself, I can tell you that the winters in Vermont are extremely cold. 
Summers are not. Right now it's summer and I am sweating and it's super hot and I can't stand it. But the winters, it can easily get to negative 30 degrees. That is not an exaggeration. And there is a chapter in this book where the main character doesn't want to go back to live with his parents during Christmas break and he can't stay on campus because it's during Christmas break. So he lives in this like unheated apartment and like wanders and stuff and the book goes into like grueling detail about how the cold is affecting him and that definitely describes a book with a cold setting considering how much this terrible cold winter affected the main character's health in this book. Number five, Nasty Sunburn, a book you really disliked so far this year. I'm going with Circle Mirror Transformation by Annie Baker. It's actually a play, and I actually have a story to go along with this, because I didn't like reading this play, but I loved seeing this play. This isn't a play I would have picked up on my own normally, but my school was doing a student-run production of it and I wanted to audition for it, so I read the script first, as you should do when you're going to audition for a play. Reading it, I just felt like this is just super pretentious, it doesn't actually mean anything, I don't like any of these characters. But then, I saw it when the actual production went up. I didn't make it into it when I auditioned, by the way, and that's whatever, there aren't many roles, and I didn't really fit that well into any of them, so that's okay. But I saw it, it was cast perfectly, and they acted it perfectly, and suddenly I completely understood what this play was going for, and it was just a beautiful, memorable, magical experience, and it really, really, really tugged at the heartstrings, and I'm definitely going to remember that performance. But reading this play, I didn't get any of that. So this is a play that I wouldn't recommend reading, but I would highly, highly recommend seeing if you get the chance. That just goes to show that even though I'm a person who enjoys reading plays, and I'm a person who highly advocates the reading of plays, even if you can't see them. There are some plays that just are much better to be seen than read. Every play, ideally, is going to be, the performance is going to be better than reading it, but some plays, the reading of it just isn't good at all, and the performing of it is great. So, Circle Mirror Transformation. Number six. Sizzling Read. Recommend one of your favorite books. I'm saying this just because I don't have many opportunities to talk about this in tags and such. I'm going with Astonishing X-Men, specifically the Joss Whedon, John Cassidy run of it. It's a comic series, and it's basically anything you could want from a superhero comic series. Like, even if you don't know that much about comics and superheroes and stuff, but you, like, are vaguely interested in the whole superhero thing, this is the one for you, because it's just everything that makes superheroes in the X-Men specifically so great. It's very on the edge of your seat, exciting, lots of good messages, great characterization, and some parts are, like, legitimately scary, some parts are legitimately, like, inspiring. It's really great if you're looking to read a comic. A superhero comic, specifically. So that's the whole Summer Lovin' book tag. Kind of a short tag. Glad I made this video. Again, I'm sorry it took me two months, almost, to make another video. But here I am. Here's this tag. And I'm going to tag The Book Witch, Quill Cafe, and Craving Books, and whoever else wants to do this tag. Summer's almost over. It's a summer-themed tag. Don't feel too bad if you end up doing it later, like I did. But thanks for watching. Bye.